Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Thompson and I'm joined by Lauren Preston and Linda Lockhart. And we're going to talk about an event coming up with the Greater St. Louis Association of Black Journalists. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. So there's an important event on Thursday, raising money for a good cause. Lauren, you want to start it off? Yeah, definitely. Uh, this Thursday, February 27th, we're going to be hosting our first event of 2014. And it's going to be a silent auction and also open mic event. So we're really excited because all the proceeds are actually going to be going Going towards a wonderful benefit, and Linda that is going to be able to explain that. Yeah. This, is, this is this is a big deal. I mean, you've been a this, founding member, and this is the workshop. This is kind of what this is. What we're all does. about. Yeah. The Greater St. Louis Association of Black Journalists has hosted this workshop for high school students for more than 30 years, and this is our big fundraising event for the year to help us as we uh, support high school students, juniors, and seniors who are interested in, in learning more about journalism careers. Um, our workshop is in the fall. It's open to all kids um, throughout the metropolitan St. Louis area on Metro West, Metro East, um, public schools, private schools, all those kids. So we've been doing this. We are the oldest, most continuous organization or, or program of this type for high school kids of any NABJ affiliate. That's the National Association of Black Journalists. Um, and so we're very proud of the fact that we got this started from the very beginning, 1977, mm -hmm. and have run a workshop every year with more than 1,500 young people have gone through our program over the years. And so you have some, uh, some pretty notable alumni. We've got say. some great alums. Um, people <laughs> think of right away of, of Russ Mitchell who was formerly with CBS News and who is now managing editor and anchor for a TV station in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, we've had Marcia Davis who is a senior editor at the Washington Post now and um, Ann Scales who is an, was an editor at the, a reporter at the um, Boston Globe. So we have young people all, all over the country now who have gone through our program. Your own Tim Lampley here at <laughs> STL TV was one of our former mm -hmm. students. Um, so we have people here in the St. Louis area who are working in many areas of TV stations. Our volunteer instructors um, come from professional journalists um, like you. You mm -hmm. can help us out anytime. <laughs> um, but we've had uh, folks like Sharon Stevens of, of uh, Channel 5 KSDK and Benita Cornute are our instructors. Um, this is a six-week program where we have kids come on Saturdays and just learn everything about all aspects of journalism. Okay. So. Well, we're going to, we, we have two interviews, so we're going to talk about two segments. So we're going to talk about a little bit more about the workshop in the second segment. Sure. I do want to mention for this thing, for the event on Thursday, it's an open mic night. There's right. Food. Tell right. me a little bit more about well, what people can Well, a lot expect. of the journalists that she actually named, um, in addition to several ones throughout St. Louis, are going to be at this event on Thursday. And we're going to have live music. We're going to have a wonderful neo soul band that's from Chicago come all the way down just so that they can perform. We're going to have artists who can sing, rap, do poetry, and so it's just going to be a wonderful, eclectic event uh, full of just relaxing music, vibes, and entertainment. And so uh, all the food and drinks are going to be provided uh, from the venue, which is BB soups and Jazz and soups. Thank you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wonderful new lounge downtown in the heart of downtown. So mm -hmm. um, it's just a great opportunity for us to be able to give back eventually to some young journalists, but have a fun night on the town and a fundraise. For, and, and it's a mix of, so you're saying a lot of in past instructors, current instructors, just everyone in the association, but it's also open to Open to the, the public. public. People can show up if they've got, you know, a talent they want to share. It's open mic. Yeah. So you can come up and sign up on the spot. Um, tickets are $10 in advance and $15 if you show up at the door. Okay. But I think they're even mm -hmm. having a special cocktail that's made just for us. So you can come in and, and uh, <laughs> oh, do you have a specialty cocktail? <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> and then in addition to the open mic, we're going to be having a silent auction. So we have businesses throughout St. Louis that have donated some amazing items. Build-A-Bear has donated, Fox 2 News has donated, Glacier's Vodka, so if you want to have fun. They've Chronicle all, Coffee. Chronicle Coffee, <laughs> which is, mm -hmm. you know, in the heart of the Central West End. They've all have come together so that they can support this great cause. And so we're bringing out people from uh, the community, the public, to, to do a silent auction and uh, bet on these different items. Mm -hmm. Again, to raise, raise more money for a great cause. Well, we've got the information there for you on your screen. It's taking place this Thursday down at Phoebe's. Go check it out. You can go get tickets. And we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more from Lauren Preston and Linda Lockhart.